like The other top story is making headlines of the sour. Saudi Arabia urges Muslims in all countries to wait before doing Hajj contracts. The repatriation process begins for SA citizens in Brazil. And Johnson & Johnson works on a COVID-19 vaccine. Turns out what's bad? Coming to you in five, four, three, two, one, and. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon and welcome to the five o'clock news here on ITV. My name is Faraz Fadal. Saudi Arabia's Hajj minister has asked the Muslims to temporarily defer preparations for the annual Hajj pilgrimage amid uncertainty over the coronavirus pandemic. Last month, Saudi Arabia suspended the Umrah pilgrimage over fears over the coronavirus spreading for the holy cities, the move raised uncertainty over the annual Hajj. Here's Mohammed Ben Ten, Saudi Arabia's Minister for Hajj and Umrah. But under the current circumstances, as okay, we are talking about the global pandemic, from which we ben have asked the Creator to save us, the Kingdom is keen to protect the health of Muslims and citizens, and so we have asked our brother Muslims in all countries Five, to wait four, before doing Hajj three, contracts two, until the situation four, is nine. clear. The informal settlement of Kailicha in South Africa's Western Cape province has detected its first positive case of COVID-19. Now there are several fears over the virus's impact of these communities as many share communal toilets in some areas lack basic sanitation services. An outbreak in the crowded townships where water and sanitation are problematic could prove difficult to contain in the country, which already has the highest number of infections in Africa. Well, this is distortion. The socio-economic conditions do not allow for a full adherence to the regulations that they are put out. For instance, I'll take one, one example. The queues you find in retail stores where people go and buy food, the buying work from the township, the secondary and the third, because the primary, the rich and they have, they've done that, they stockpile things and, and they, in the full glare of these ones, who would receive their pay only one day in a month. So we worry because there is no standby and mostly there is old people staying there and they Ten seconds standby like they catch this virus quickly. Five four three two, so to decide is very effective. Now, one of the reasons for the lockdown is to ensure social distancing to avoid further spread of the coronavirus. Reporters on the ground in Soweto found long queues, busy roads, and many people struggling to adhere to the strict social distancing rules aimed at curbing the spread of the deadly COVID-19 infection. Here's concerns facing Soweto residents who commented. And can I be honest? I think the minimum force should be implemented because people they don't listen i mean besides people coming here to buy there are people who are still drinking there are people who are still roaming around the streets we didn't get the free days just to stay at home to do whatever that you want to do we treat it as a okay, 35 seconds stand by we need to really adhere to as i've said earlier that as i was entering this mall my worry was what was that they there are no there are no matters in all queues, as you can see how long the queues are in this mall are, but they are no matter. 20 and seconds. looking at the distance that was there, it's not a uh, in play. Well, I think most people are just frustrated with the fact that they have to stay in houses and they have to stay in the but then 
Five, four, three, two, three. The government is moving to help with the repatriation of hundreds of citizens who have been stranded across the globe as a result of worldwide coronavirus travel restrictions. Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Naledi Pando, said yesterday that the department's missions abroad were working to assist those who wanted or needed to come home, but were unable to do so. Current data, she said, shows that at least 1,471 South Africans were in need of assistance. Of those, 723 are students, 204 are workers, 224 are tourists, and 320 have not disclosed the nature of their visits abroad. Now, earlier today, a plane left Oar Tambo International Airport carrying a group of Brazilians and now also to repatriate South African citizens from that country. We will also be negotiating with governments as they're doing with us to facilitate the movement of stranded citizens of our country. Given the difficulties associated with travel restrictions, we do appeal to those who can afford to return to do so at their own cost, that they indeed initiate such processes. There are some who have started organizing themselves into groups and they have approached the department to ensure their safe passage home. Others are students who were in residence, were funded for short-term courses or other programs and have now been moved out of residence accommodation overseas and have nowhere to go. Sure. Some South Africans have indicated to us that they are exploring options sure. such as arranging private charter flights back to South Africa. 20 seconds, standby. This of course is possible in cooperation with their travel insurance companies, their sponsors, Ten, or they can nine, do so in groups specializing their own five, with other four, citizens in three, the country in which two, they find themselves one, located. And. Director of the Alphabet Child and Youth Care Center, Director Vanessa Theophilus, believes that her, the staff, and the children who live in this property are at high risk of getting coronavirus. The home had no water supply for three days in the past week. Theophilus told ITV that the decision was that all children and staff will be on a 21-day lockdown as the Department of Social Development requested that all children's homes should be on a lockdown. However, they are finding it hard to practice hygiene since the place is experiencing a shortage of water. This is a very long clip. Where 65 children and dental workers are under lockdown, has been forced to use swimming pool water and buy bottled water after having no water no way. for three days in the past week. I want to go home, man. Ruffy? The Edward Bird Child and Youth Care Centre, Vanessa Teopilas, feel sorry for the employees who do not live in this property full time, but volunteer for 21 days lockdown with the children at the centre. We have to ask for staff who don't live on the property all the time. Uh, they work on a shift system, they two days on and two days off. So we have to ask our staff to live on the property for 21 days on shutdown with the children. So they're not even allowed to go to their own families. Um, and obviously this was the consensus. They agreed to um, live on the property because we want to lower the risk of um, um, oh, the right. of the um, they, they made sacrifices and arrangements for their own families to be taken care of so that they can take care of the most vulnerable children. Um, and the challenge we face now is just a period of seven days. Three out of the seven days, they were not consecutive days, we were without water and for 24 hours. And this is absolutely not acceptable, especially if you're looking at um, hygiene and we want children to wash their hands um, with soap and water. Um, we want hygiene to be absolutely a priority at Ecobus and we do not have water. Shama, no. What's good, brother? But did not get any response. Take a second, stand by. To um, Itikweni, I've made several telephone contacts 
and there was promises that it will be fixed. Um, I've got big parts of telephonic contacts and people that I've spoken to and emails sent and no response. The Center for Disease <laughs> Control and Prevention say the best way okay. to the virus is to wash your hands. Ish. However, I was caught like that. Like this, children home. Coming to you in five, five four, three, two, one. And I can use Japan. Botswana has declared a state of emergency and for people to stay at home until further notice in a bid to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Across all Africa, countries have recorded 5,700 cases of the coronavirus and 190 deaths. Here's the result, the Here's the result eh? countries, And there's still a handful of African countries that have yet to detect a single case of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. Very short clip. There's a constant Zara, right? You hereby declare that a state of public emergence shall exist Five, four, the of April three, two, until and Johnson and Johnson says the company has selected a lead candidate vaccine for the coronavirus that will move to human trials by September and could be ready for emergency use early next year. What? Johnson & Johnson is using the same technology it used to develop a candidate vaccine for the deadly Ebola virus. Thanks, bro. We are going to start with preclinical and clinical development as well as upscaling preparation now to be able to have the vaccines by the end of the year. It's seen as a, as a virus and it recognizes COVID as COVID and it makes What's the against that? that and that's why how it works. And we have used this in HIV, in Ebola, in Zika, and RSV four times. And four times it, it really did very well. So we know and understand what we do here with this vector. We have had several vaccine candidates, which we tested in animals. Yeah. We know that we choose the best one that took like 12 weeks from 15 to the first time back. We have decided to do it not for profit um, to make sure that uh, because it's coming to you now for everyone who needs it. Um, in we have to that five, we have to make a to the world three, and, two, and stop the disease one, as quickly as possible. In Taiwan, passengers with fever symptoms have been banned from all public transport ahead of two sweeping day this weekend. This is families around the island travel home to get and pay respects to their ancestors during one of the busiest holiday periods of the year. Passengers are required to have their face mask on at all times while inside the carriage. The government has also issued a social distancing guideline of one meter apart outdoors and 1.5 meters indoors as infection cases on the island rapidly rose today to 329. Three, two, one, and... Let's take a look at the weather forecast and Salah times. Coming to you now in five, four, three, two, one, and recapping the top stories. Saudi Arabia urges all Muslims in all countries to wait before doing Hajj contracts. The repatriation process begins Rusty. for Asian citizens in Brazil.
and Johnson & Johnson works on a COVID-19 vaccine. Coming to you in five, four, three, two, one, and... For more updates, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. Three, two, one, and... For myself, Faraz Patel, and the ITV News team, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So what?